Joining us now, Dr. Anna May Deal, Chief of Gastroenterology at Duke University, and Dr. Chenwei Okamadu, who is Assistant Professor of Medicine at Harvard University. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Your you. session is on stem cells and progenitors. Give us a little overview of that. Well, I think this is going to be a fun session because it wasn't too long ago that people debated whether there actually was a stem cell compartment in the liver. So here's a whole session devoted to stem and progenitor cells. And I think it's going to be quite lively because there's still considerable debate about where these cells live, what they look like, how we can identify them, what regulates them. I don't know, Chinwei, you want to comment? Yes, I mean, the, the, se the session is going to be really great because um, there's going to be a rather diverse selection of topics. Mm -hmm. There are only six talks, but within those six talks, we go from how epigenetics regulates stem cell populations to how non-coding RNAs regulate proliferation in the liver to ways to reclassify uh, cirrhosis from a molecular point of view. So these are really going to be exciting topics to talk about. Lively and exciting are always good. <laughs> what are the objectives? I, th I think it's probably to reveal the breadth of work that's going on in this area. As Shinwei said, um, this is a field that's rapidly growing. Uh, from uh, an area where almost no one was working to I think a lot of very talented young investigators are moving into this area and some of the more senior investigators are actually shifting their own focus uh, to begin to look more at this question. I completely agree with that. I think the idea is to tell people that the field is really exploding and the quality of the work to be presented will be proof that that is really what's happening within the field. What might surprise people who are going to attend this session? I, I think the plasticity, of what we call the changeability of the cells. Mm -hmm. uh, not too long ago, we believed that everything that happened in the liver was uh, done by the mature hepatocytes. And it was actually a relatively staid, and I think now we would probably say boring perspective. And now we know that these cells can, can interconvert from one cell type to another. Uh, and that, for example, the field has shown that that you can make a mouse out of a fibroblast. So the idea that a one type of cell in the liver can become another shouldn't be so surprising to us. And yet, we're amazed when we actually visualize it. And now we're trying to understand whether this happens in real life and what are the situations that cause it to happen. And even more importantly, could we regulate it and control it and get cells to be uh, converted into other cell types so that we could regrow a liver kind of in vivo? It's, it, it is true. It does just goes to show that the only way to really push science forward is to challenge established dogmas. I mean, the, the whole theory that adult liver cells are the ones that repopulate the liver is what we were all thought. But now there's all this great work saying, wait a minute, there are other ways. And, and I think as time goes on, it become extremely important for people to realize that there are other ways to approach uh, liver repopulation studies. Sounds like a lot to look forward to. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.